and what is going on YouTube? Just another gaming channel bringing you just another video. So, guys, we're going to go into the Titan um, Forbidden armor set. Sorry about the delay on this, I should have done it with the other two, my bad. I've um, just not been on that much recently, not been feeling too well. Um, I just want to thank for the uh, the uh, recent subscribers, I just appreciate it. And um, if anyone enjoy, enjoys these armor videos, I've got like a couple of hundred um, from Destiny 2 and about the same from D1, so feel free to watch the entire playlist, they're awesome. Each video lasts about 20 minutes, uh, because I like to go through the arm set as a whole, individual pieces, comment on the design, because I'm a designer, and um, then I like to, I really like to apply the different uh, um, colour schemes, so with shaders. Um, so I'll try and speed up a little bit, um, but here we go. So I've just applied this over the Moonfang armour, um, I really like the Hunter one, don't like the Warlock one, this one's pretty cool as well, but uh, let's see how we go, let's see if there's any lore on this, so, okay, here we are, Daddy, uh, is that Dat Dato, Dato, uh, locked this old soul up in the warehouse, when margins got too tight, I'm just here to liberate it, the Drifter, okay, Ah, right. Okay, sorry. That's going to be the moon. That's going to be the moonfang armor, isn't it? That's not. That's going to be. Hang, hang on. If I apply this, let me check. Yeah. Sorry, guys. If there's any lore about this, it's not. It's not this one. Okay. My bad. Anyway. Oh. Oh. My bad. Okay. Here we go. So, um, pretty cool. Uh, if we just back out. Have a quick look at this. I do like the general look of this armor. Um, I don't know about. It looks a little bit. Bulky up top and a slender down bottom. That's the only issue I have with it overall. I think the shoulders are a bit too. Man, they need Titans with cloaks. Titans with cloaks, not hoods, but cloaks. Uh, like like Warhammer. Come on, Warhammer 40k. Jesus Christ! You get some any sort of Warhammer style looking armor. Destiny Titans all look amazing. Uh, even single cloak, single shoulder cloaks, like all the way. Oh, it looks, it looks like amazing. Anyway, so yeah, I, I like, I like, I do like the idea of like helmets with no visor, no visible visor, because it's like the, it's kind of almost like. Um, sorry, so I'm drinking my coffee there. That's a massive mug of coffee. Like two, it's like it's a flagon basically of coffee, four heap spoons of uh, of um, dark roast coffee, uh, Alterica, Nescafe Alterica, double cream, one sugar. Spoon, teaspoon, turmeric, and milk, and it's amazing. Anyway, the uh, the helmet design, I like this. I, I do. Um, pretty simple. I like the idea of no visors because I always like the idea of there's just advanced cameras and sensors like somewhere on this helmet, and like there's a full like high resolution like 5K, 8K LCD screen inside visor, just scanning everything, highlighting like weaknesses and ar analyzing armor and shit. Basically, like a like a space marine, no, the visors on space marines, like they they blink, click, they, all their information is can be accessed, it scans everything, and they just they can blink at stuff, look at stuff to access it. It's really cool. So I like the idea of that. The the general design is pretty cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Do I keep that in just to show how fucked up things are? Let's just do it from here, guys. I, I, I kind of like being in the tower, but we'll do it from here because, you know, I'm going to keep that in just because, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I've been having those problems recently. I don't know what's happening. But anyway, pretty simple design. It looks good, though. It looks cool. I like the horizontal um, head plate, like, visor thingamajig, like, helm piece, sort of fin shark side thing. It's pretty cool. There's not a lot to say about it. In fact, this arm is so simple, there's not that much to say about any of it, really. Ah, a little neck protector there. That's a nice little touch. There's little touches like this that, as a designer, you kind of appreciate that, yeah, it's not it's not outrageous, but it does cover the extended period and the neck um, exposed area at the back and um, the soft under underplating that would be, like, in the in between the armour. So that's kind of cool. But the high collar in there, the, the, sec the first collar, the black collar, and then this high armor collar, and then that protection. Kind of little things like that you kind of appreciate. So, let's get into the... Uh... Now, I don't know if I like the shape of these arms. And um, so there's trees there. I like the fact that they're trees. I don't know why I like that. And they're... What's that? Are they whales? 
I know this has got some significance, and for the sake of me, I can't really think what it is right now. So, my bad. And, um... It's probably in the law somewhere, but I've actually not really reviewed any of the new law um, so far, which normally I do. Normally I do. Not, not yet, though. Uh, sorry, we're just applying all this stuff while we're supposed to be doing a video, but why the hell not? Why the hell not? Anyway, uh, I've not played with this character yet in the campaign, so we're a little low level. Um, I do like the trees, except at f look at in the in the light there. It looks like just a, a rustic patch, like a bit of a uh, grime. Um, it would be cool if these had more distinguishable elements, like some flying birds or something in a different colour. But yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Um, again, pretty simple. Not sure I like these overly round um, style. Uh, I suppose it depends on this, on this, on the the shape of the chest plate. Um, really. I know we can see. Like, I know we're looking at the arms here, but the chest plate's pretty visible as well. Let's just get in on chest plate again. I think this is probably going to be quicker, guys. I'm just trying to get to the shaders because this is pretty simple. So, if anyone wants to leave a comment on what this is, um, I'm sure someone knows. Um, is that a weeping whale? What is that? Is it a fish? What, what's, what's going off? Six? Is that six zero nine or is that a six one zero one nine or what is that? What is that? A, was that an E one zero D? Oh, I don't know. Two backward Ds? I don't know. Who knows? So, again, pretty standard. Um, I, I like the shape of this armour. I don't like the shape of the pauldrons there, but I like the shape of the armour. Um, and I always I always assume that maybe things like this um, are, are, are kind of designed for like power packs, power sources and things like that. Um Kind of what it reminds just the you know, opening slots and the bulkiness of it and stuff. Uh, apart from armor protection, but I can imagine uh, there's a lot of circuitry in this armor. You know, getting advanced abilities and, and stuff would be kind of cool. Um, while I appreciate the fact that there needs to be like a rigid part, uh, a less rigid part here, um, that is really exposed. That is really exposed. Um, they're not normally that exposed, are they? This is this is like. Eh. Well, they've got a fish on the on the thigh there. Okay, so yeah, again, this is a really simple. I, I like, I do like it, guys. It's just it's a little bit. There's not much to talk about. Um, okay, let like, change the texture there. That's cool from an aesthetic point of view. Um, I don't know what what that would provide tactically, if anything. Maybe it's just an aesthetic quality. So yes, yeah, the mark that's got the uh, the uh, fish on. Again, the boots cool, cool. It's so simple though. There's not a lot I can say about it. It's so simple. There's really not a lot I can say about it. Um, just that it's generally a cool set of armor. Now I bought these. I bought silver to get these for the channel, and then like a week after they'd been out, they showed up on bloody. You know, like you get like a single item per week on for for bright dust. Oh, they've started releasing. Them. I'm a little bit annoyed about that, but I do it for a channel more than anything. Um, it's a little bit annoying. One thing I'm annoyed about is there's almost no armor for a full expansion. Um, there's very little content in the case of like weapons and armor, specifically armor, and the armor that is available is not very good. Like this is the best armor that's came out of this so far. Uh, I haven't done the raid yet, so maybe that's good. Uh, this is the best armor that's and yet to buy this. I had to buy this, and this is a problem that they do do good pieces of armor, but then they sell it, and I'm like guys. Stop putting the shit stuff in the game. At least sell the shit stuff, and if people really want it, they'll they'll buy it. But like the really cool stuff should be free, and I get it that don't make any sense from a from a marketing standpoint. But it's all about personal preference. But again, they know what they're doing. The the, the good the good stuff that you have to buy, and that's a shame when you pay like sixty seventy quid for an expansion. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a cool set, guys. It's a cool looking set. It's it's okay. Um, I like the white, I like the white on the others, but I've got a feeling I might like this one because it's so simple and a different shade of colour. So we're going to get into that and have a look. Oh no, uh, I think this one might be new. It's going to be, oh no, it's not very nice is it? It's a bit too coppery, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, what, what are we going to go with? So I always like... 
I always like the Iron Banner stuff. I, I hope there's no Iron Banner armor. I really do. Um, that's not great. It's okay. So we know that... Okay, that is that stuff going to stay white? That's what we need to know. Iron Strength. This won't be a great one because this only works on like one arm set and that's the original Iron Banner set. So no, the pauldrons stay white on the sides there. Um, no matter what. So I'll just dead orbit. Okay, sorry, my bad. It's one of the dead orbits uh, that came out. Right, let's try and find the Iron Banner, Iron Banner ones. The more Iron Bannerish ones. Actually, this should be pretty uh, light. Ooh, look at that light. Does that hurt your eyes? Be honest. Kicks my ass. Look at that bad boy. Anyway, uh, so Iron Banner, so Iron Bone. Um, can work. It's very, very shiny though, isn't it? I think they've gone a bit too. I think they need to dim down the light by about fifteen percent, or remove some of the light sources because that's way too much. I, I can't actually. See, I don't know about you guys on your. I can't actually see the armor very well because I'm having to squint my eyes, and it's so overwhelming by the light that there's. I can only see like eight or nine like really shiny points. Wall break. This often works a lot. Uh, not on this. See, this is a problem right now. This armor's cool and it looks cool in white, but I've got a feeling it's a little bit too simple for me in white. And I don't know from the looks of it so far. Not nothing's really working. Nothing's really working with it, and that that's a little bit concerning. Let's have a go with some of these uh, these harsh reds. Again, that's looks cheap, doesn't it? Like that matte. This is a nice shader as well. It works on a lot of stuff. The carmine's a little bit grittier. I don't like this off-white, weird, pasty, beige like creamy white, like dirty white. It's not something, something a little bit off about it. Um, all right, so this will this work? This is this is this has been one of my favourites. It's not bad, but not amazing. Um, I think they've designed a coolish-looking set of armour that looks really good in white but it looks too simple but nothing else is working so I don't know what to do about that guys so I'm going to suggestions ah this is the uh, okay yeah this work yeah I thought this might work it kind of works it's like the closest so far to working but it doesn't look as good as the white does it if anyone's got any opinions on shaders guys let me know if anyone's got any different games they'd like me to play let me know I know someone left a message the other day um because I'm happy to play other games. Um, hey, if anyone's got a PS5 and they want to send me one, wink, wink. No, I'm kidding. I imagine if I had like 200,000 subscribers, I'd, I'd get a free PS5. I could be, I could be, I could be playing it for you guys. Yeah, I bet you really want that, don't you? Some douchebag. Just yeah, I can play it for you guys. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? How culture works. So think about the people that are in this day and age of internet. The people that are the wealthiest. Everyone wants to be an internet celebrity. And that's what we value. But if you're a farmer, think about a farmer. You're not considered particularly... That's a very... You have to be extremely knowledgeable and skilled to be a farmer. Get up at like... You start work at like four in the morning and you work through till fucking four and four or five in the evening. Uh, you get like five, six hours sleep if you're lucky and no free time. And you're literally providing the food that allows the world to survive and you're not valued. Not really. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Okay, there's like a shitload of shaders that just are not working here, guys. There's loads, maybe, maybe. Oh no, the gold and white doesn't work. Now this actually works on some some pieces. So I got rid of monochromatic because I'm using monochromatic. I don't know what this armor piece is. The color of this armor piece. That's okay, but I think the fact that it's moving is kind of gives it a little bit of an edge. But it doesn't. It's okay. Okay, I had some awesome shaders, and they all look really shit now. That looks cool. I don't like the white pauldron corners, though. That looks really cool, though. The oiled gun metal. That looks really nice. What they need to do, guys, I think, is they need to... Uh, they really need to... Like, they've got this universe, this or or ornament system, but they've only got, like, 20 pieces of armour attached to it. And like all the Iron Banner stuff you can't use, everything you can't use, that looks good. A little bit shiny, but that looks good. So, you know, there must be, I must have like 60 to 70 pieces of Titan arm, different arm sets over the last three years. And I can select like 15, maybe 20 at a push to apply to these ornaments. 
It just doesn't seem right to me. See, I really love this orange. I do. I do. It looks the bright orange. It looks wicked. It just, ah, oh, it just. It, oh, I can't explain it. You'd have to go back to the Future War Cult set on Destiny One, which is a better version of the Titan Prodigy set on Destiny Two, because it had a really cool uh, shader pattern on it that you could apply different shaders to, and they had a, it had the blue, this blue and orange. A dark blue and this bright orange worked really well on that Destiny 1 set. Go check out the Destiny 1 um, armor sets, guys. They're considerably better than the D2 armor sets. Which is a shame. What what concerns me is how many armor sets... Like, think about how many armor sets and iterations of armor sets must get thrown away. But some of the ones they let in the game, I can't believe it. I honestly, I'm like, you thought that was a good design. You okayed that. I can't only imagine what got discarded to allow that piece of shit in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is a new one. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I like that matte grey. It's like a really, it's like an off-black grey, dark grey, isn't it? It's like, it's not grey, but it's not quite black. It, it is, it looks black. It could be black, but I think it's like slightly off-black. That looks really cool. Does it look cooler than the white, though? That's what I need to know. Okay, we're 16 minutes in, guys. I better call it here. This has not been as, as good as my normal armor videos, but not that they're particularly good, but there's more to talk about in the in the armor sets uh, in, in regards to... Um, that looks cool, but the black's a little bit... The shiny black, I'm not quite sure of the glossy. It makes it look a little bit cheapy, plasticky, maybe. I don't know. Also, just one thing I've got to say again is this, a lot of these shaders that I've got look really good on like 90% of the armor, but none of them look good on this at all. So that's, I mean, there's like two that like are passable. It's a little bit concerning, no? Yeah, no, you yeah, know? Lawful neutral. Is that a new one? No, no, it's not. Wait, is this the one that moves? Yeah, okay, sorry, my bad. I'm trying to find some other ones that might be safety first, it might be okay for you. Ooh. That might be, you might accept it. Oh, it's a dreamscape. This might work. See, that works, but that's because it's nearly white. Looks alright, though. See, I love the old, uh, I've got all the Bray tech stuff and the protocol escalation, I've got all that, and I'd love to use it. But it's not in the ornament sets. The problem with that is, it's like I'm using like the holdfast stuff or, or this stuff because look, that's an eighty-three. In fact, the hold look, that's eighty-five. The holdfast stuff's higher. Yeah, I suppose because use the holdfast stuff. In fact, yeah, I probably should use the holdfast stuff because I think it's higher. Yeah, it is. Uh, the only reason I was using the other stuff was because. Um, this is the Moonfang set, which I really like. Um, but the fact that this this is actually a little bit higher, I could probably use that. Probably get away with that. Um, anyway, there we go, guys. Uh, the Forbidden Titan Armor set. <laughs> the Forbidden Visage set. It looks cool right there. Why? It looks cool. It's okay. A little bit simple. Uh, legs could be a bit, little bit chunkier. Um, but other than that, it's pretty cool. Uh, sorry about the quality of my last two recordings. I didn't realise my mic was muted, so it automatically switched over to my internal Mac, uh, microphone on my Mac. That was a little bit... Um, I did I did do some um, audio background noise reduction and filtering, uh, like I usually do, but it's a little bit... So, anyway, guys, thanks for, thanks for checking out this video. Appreciate it if you watch to the end. Leave some comments, leave some likes, share the video, do all that good stuff, which I very rarely ask for. Um, feel free to subscribe or suggest a friend. That'd be cool. Um, I keep thinking about monetizing, but honestly, it's just not worth... Just the thought of putting ads on these these videos in front of you, it felt, I just couldn't do it, guys. Uh, plus, like, is it really worth me making, like, a pound a month off? I don't get enough views or subscribers. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I will see you all on the next one. So cheers.